All right, so what I get out of the deal after that gets rendered out is this, it is a baked texture. And the baked texture is located within uh, your, should be your desktop level one, room one. Render data is the directory you have to search for, and it's called baked tiff. And you can open that with preview, and this is what we got. Very detailed map, very detailed. And the reason for that is I broke it up across several UV planes, and now you can see that everything's very detailed because of that. Now, how do I keep it as detailed that inside Unity? Well, here's the problem. So, uh, assign a new material, Lambert, to the entire area, okay? So instead of running off of 14 maps, it's just running off one map, okay? And this Lambert is called Rooms. Now, of course, I got a lot of things going on in here. And now I got Lamberts and all kinds of disarray. So let's find rooms. And a lot of times at this point, I like to really clean up the scene or even switch to another uh, Maya scene altogether just to alleviate some of this stuff. So this is what I have. This huge mess. Okay. And it would be nice if that was in here, but I think half the time you have to add it. So there we go. And then I'm going to take this and apply it to the color. It's default. Okay. This is what we have. It doesn't look too much different except for the fact that it's tiled across several things, right? Okay, well, that's because we just now uh, switched it out, so. So what'll happen is, maybe I want it all on the same UV plane now, but look at, I've, I've stretched this out just perfect enough so I can get away with doing that. I can shrink this back down, these UVs, And yeah, so there would be nice if there was a magical scale button that would handle that perfectly. But unfortunately, I do not know of one. So a lot of times this is the pain in the butt part. But if you do it enough, enough times, you get pretty good at doing it. Okay, so one UV, one map running the entire show on one UV coordinate zero to one. And I had to expand it out to one to one to get the full resolution to match up. But I can't really tell the difference, can you? Very cool. And of course, you know, you can make this big as pot. If I, I just went outside this bounds, um, but you could do the very same thing by tiling over even more. All I wanted to do was generate a pure 4096 by 4096 map with very little tiling. So that's what I had to do to rectify the tiling problem was to grow it out and then shrink it back in. All right, now that I have this, I can export it. So I would go edit, delete by type history, make sure all the history is off of it. Uh, I only have rooms in here. Again, I like to maybe even clean up the scene a little bit. I don't need any lights. But I can delete those in Unity. So I'll export all, 
and I export this into a directory I made in Unity. So this is a new project, project eight. Okay. And in project eight, I just call this room FBX, export it. For me, I have to replace it. I don't want anything in here. I do not want to embed media. I do not want lights, even though it's going to make lights anyway, because it's stubborn. And in the next video, let's see what that looks like in Unity.